Welcome to Electron Online and now let's talk about the expected value of a random variable. And that is a term that's often confused with the average of a random ver variable. And then we saw what the average was in the previous video. This is what we call the expected value and it's not the average. It's basically the weighted average. What we have to do, and here's an example that we saw before, let's say we're looking at people standing in line and we come and check at various uh, occasions and sometimes there's nobody standing in line, sometimes there's one person standing in line, two people standing in line, three, pe three people standing in line and so forth. And so what that means is that the probability that you'll see a number of people standing in line is given by the vertical height of these bars. Notice that there's no, never will there be anybody, any more than eight people standing in line and only a 0.02% or 0.02 probability, which is a 2% probability, you'll see eight people. It's a 25% probability you'll see two people standing in line. So this is a, a distribution of the random variable where X represents the number of people standing in line. So what is the expected value? So when you go out at random and you look at the number of people standing in line, what is the expected value? How many people do you expect to see in line on average? So here we say on average, and how is that not the average of the value? Why is that the expected value? Because you have to weigh in how many, what's the probability for each number here? It's much more likely you'll see two people standing in line than you'll see eight people standing in line. But what is the expected value? All right, so here's the equation that we use. We multiply the random variable times the probability of that random variable and this is what we call the what we call the weighted average if we multiply it times the probability that that number will occur we adjust for the fact that some numbers are not as not as likely to occur as others so these should weigh more in the calculation than numbers that are not as likely to occur that's what we mean by getting the weighted average for those numbers that are more likely to occur, that have a higher probability, we should weigh them more heavily than numbers that are less likely to occur. We should weigh them less heavily. And we do that by multiplying the value of the number, anywhere from 0 all the way to 8, times the probability of that occurrence. And then we sum them all up. And then, of course, we have to divide that by, no, we don't have to divide it because this already normalizes it, so there's no division necessary. Since this is already normalized, where the sum of all the probabilities add up to 1, there's no need for any division. We can simply have that and multiply that together, and that will give us the expected value. So let's go ahead and show the example then. So, how many numbers do we have? We have anywhere from 0 to 8. So we x sub 1. That would be the first number right here. So this is x sub 1, this is x sub 2, this is x sub 3, x sub 4, x sub 5, x sub 6, x sub 7, x sub 8, x sub 9. So there's nine possible values for x. So we take each of the value and multiply that times the probability that that number will occur, that this number will occur, and add it all up, that will give us the expected value. All right, so we get um, x sub 1 is 0, multiply times the probability of 0.04 and of course you can see that 0 times any number is always 0 so this one is not important plus or it doesn't add to the total I should say plus x sub 2 which is uh, 1 multiply times the probability which is 0 0.14 plus there we get 2 times the probability of 0 0.25 plus 3 times the probability of 0 0.2 plus 4 times the probability of 0 0.13 and we'll continue here plus 5 times the probability of 0 0.1 plus 6 times the probability of 0 0.08 plus 7 times the probability of 0 0.04 plus 8 times the probability of 0 0.02. All right, now we're going to need a calculator because that is a little bit too much work to try and do that in your head. All right, so this is 0, so we get plus 0 0.14, uh, plus 0 0.5, uh, plus 0 0.6, plus 4 times 0 0.13, plus 0 0.5, plus uh, 0.48, uh, plus 0.28, and plus 0.16. And that adds up to, if I didn't make any mistakes pushing buttons, 
3.18 is the expected value. So it's not the average value. If you took the average value, you get something like between 4 and 5. And that would not be correct. You would not expect to see between 4 and 5 people because it's not as likely that you'll see this many people in line. It's much more likely that you'll see this many people in line. So it's therefore skewed towards the heavier probability, the more likely probability, and therefore the number 3.18 seems very likely. You can see that it's likely that you'll see about three or a little bit more than three people in line uh, versus seeing six, seven, or eight people in line. And that's what we call the weighted average or the expected value, and that's where the terminology comes from. The expected value is three, a little bit over three people in line. So you go and see in three people, sometimes four, most of the time three people in line on average. Um, Ah, I shouldn't use the word average, so simply call it the expected value and it speaks for itself. That's how we do that.